So welcome. I wanted to introduce short practice, uh, one of my favorite practice. Uh, it's a called purification through the mantras. It's part of the practice coming from Shangjun Yenji cycle of Ondro. This practice is very powerful practice to clear karma, a purify karma, and particularly the uh, karmic relationship that we have and karmic relationship which is very difficult coming down through generations, uh, years coming down and these sometimes these karmic relationship is interfering our life, our practice, spiritual development. So, and this is the very powerful way of purifying them. So this practice is how you do this practice is first you sit in five point posture. And as you sit in a five point posture, you sit comfortably, you draw your attention inward, you settle down in that position. And then gradually you imagine and feel the presence of a shallow worker, uh, some Bogokaya form, uh, the light of you know, enlighten, I say, the body of light, enlightened being, and who embodies all the uh, qualities. That's why the, all the 13 peaceful ornaments represent. And then you sing Hung three times, like As you sing this Hong three times, imagine from the heart of the Shela Yoga comes these beams of lights, all direction, and these lights touches all these karmic beings and those locations, all the places, and they all dissolve into the light. Basically, as we have very specific images of these people, like uh, a person who is very difficult to live with, deal with, work with, talk to, and very challenging because you have a very specific image of this person. But that image is not necessarily belongs to that person. That image is very much part of you. So with this light, these images are dissolving. All your karmic projected images are dissolving, all your karmic projected, the places are dissolving and they all dissolve into the light and this light comes back to you and the light from the people dissolves into your consciousness and light of the places dissolve in your body. So after you finish the three sound and then, then there's nothing around it's except just pure space because all these people have dissolved. And then, at that point, you sing a strong pe. In a way, it's not really singing. You sound strong pe, like pe. It's a little shocking to the ego, maybe a little shocking to yourself. That pay, moment that you sound that pay, you begin to feel expanding. Your body is expanding. Your consciousness is expanding. Your sense, sense of yourself is expanding from where you are to bigger, from your room expanding, from, from your town, from your city, from your country, from your continent. And into the universe. There is no boundaries, this boundless uh, uh, sense of awareness. Just feel that sense of boundlessness continuously, but there still there is a sense of presence. Then that point 
you look that presence, that awareness looks looks in that boundless space. In a way, you're looking in yourself, which you are boundless at this point. And what do you see? You see these people, all the people that you have strong karmic relationships, conflict with. You see these people, but this point, this time, your experience is very, very different because you are not bounded as you used to be or, or the practice has affected you. You feel this boundless sense of awareness and you feel that in huge space in your heart, in your mind. And you look at these people from that openness, from that boundlessness, you see a different person, different people, different situation, different location. You feel empathy to this person. You are able to see their pain, their weakness. They're trying to do their best. They're suffering. You feel, you see that, you feel that because you're open. You feel empathy, you feel compassion, you feel kindness. And when you feel this emotion, new emotions, you allow this emotion for some time. Give a little time, when, especially when they're really very smoothly, spontaneously, effortlessly, these compassions are rising. You allow them to come, feel them as deep as you can. How I can help? You kind of, for a moment, you forget yourself, you forget your pain, you forget your identity, space opens up, compassion arises, kindness arises, you allow these feelings. So how I can help? When I can help? These new thoughts will come and give a little time when especially some of these people are very, very uh, closely related to you. Could be your father, could be your mother, could be your brother, sister, husband, wife, your children. How I can help? Allow these new thoughts to arise, new feelings to arise, new commitment to arise new engaging experience to arise that in order to help. And then you sing Ram, Yang, Mang. Ram represents the fire element. Yang represents the wind element. Mang represents the fire, uh, the water element. So you have wisdom fire, wisdom wind, wisdom water element arising from that space toward these beings and burning their karma, blowing away their, uh, through the wind their karma, washing away their karma through that wisdom water, just like a taking a shower, like a sitting up in the mountain, the wind's blowing, just clearing with these active elements. And then you imagine through these active element, wisdom element, everything is purified. They are, it's like a vessel, they are purified now, ready to receive the essence, ready to receive something in that container. And that point, you sing 3R. The A represent P 
primordial state, pure awareness, pure consciousness of wisdom. As you sing three times, imagine from that space a rain of luminous awe coming down to all these places and all these people. And every time one drop of awe touches one being, the being illuminates. The being becomes a light, being of light. Every time it touches a place, the place becomes a light. Every time it touches an object, an object becomes a light. Because sometimes we have so much stories, karmic stories, like related to our family house, or related to our family properties, objects related to these people. There is a heaviness in them, but this drop of awe transforms everything into the light. So then some point, when you look at in that boundless space, all this luminous being, luminous place, there is nothing than a simply light in that space. There is nothing than a being of lights, the appearances of light in that pure space. So you rest in that space, a sense of joy, sense of deep transformation, and then you sing the mantra of purification. Continuously sing until the time you have, five minutes, ten minutes, as long as you can, you can sing that. So, so that is the end of the practice. Then you do a dedication. In dedication, you imagine, may these practices help all, those, all the sentient beings, particularly all those people who are strongly karmic-related people, May this practice help them. May this practice help all of us to so end with this dedication. <laughs> 